Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time? Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe I think I had the weirdest dream. It was like voices really freaking me out. And I can't. Wait. I can't sleep. Well, I'm here waiting at the airport. My flight's about to leave. Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica, and welcome to the fan carpet. There's a, a project that I wish I was able to um, to help Black like, to back. Um, that was. Um, I think he's finished filming it now. Um, and I think it's just in the editing process. But Chris Stuckman, who started out as a YouTuber, um, and he's still got his YouTube channel. Um, he was a YouTuber reviewer for a very long time. Um, he's just made a film called Shelby Oaks. Um, and he's uh, he had like a massive, I think it was a kicks, I think it was Kickstarter, or I think it was Kickstarter, or it could have been oh, Indiegogo. Well, I, I, yeah, I know who you're talking about. He's a cabin horror, it's a horror movie, right? It's a horror he's movie, big... yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I know. He he's is, a, yeah. Uh, I believe he's from Ohio. Yeah, yeah um, I know who he is. Yeah, yeah he's, um, and he's one, he's, he's a filmmaker to look out for, to, to, like, he's a, he, he's just, a, he's just an incredible guy. He's got a very good insight. Oh, no, yeah, good... this is his first feature, correct? That's right, yeah. Yeah, and I, yeah, I saw some of the stuff. I was going to donate to, they had an Indiegogo, or was it Kickstarter? Yeah, campaign. one or two, yeah. Yeah, but when I got into it, they already made more than they were asking for, and I'm like, yeah. they don't need my money. <laughs> they they yeah. don't need my money. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and he, he, it's just incredible to see him go from because I've been watching his stuff for years, um, and to see him go from a YouTuber um, and being like quite prolific on that platform to making his own film to uh, to fulfilling his uh, his dream um, of making a film is just incredible. So um, yeah, I'll I'm looking forward to seeing what he's done. Yeah, I mean, anybody, I mean, if you, if this is your dream, you should pursue it because it's something that could, you know, it's not something that's not a, attainable. Like, I know you probably heard of the movie The Outwaters. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about that? That's real. That guy was a friend of mine when he was a little kid. The, um, Robbie Ban Batchip. But he was, um, his mom was my makeup artist when I used to work for a production company. And he used to come in when he was like 10 or 12 years old, and he used to do films too, like when I was a little kid. And I was like, wow, Robbie, you're really talented. You should push to do something bigger. Now, it took him a long time, probably two decades, but he finally put together the Outwaters film, which is getting so much buzz right now. They're calling it like the next Blair Witch and all that stuff like that. So it's like, it's, it, like I said, one, it's a small community. Filmmaking seems like it's a big, big thing, but it's really not. It's like, if it's like six degrees of separation, people know everybody. Like, if I know you or we, whatever, you might know somebody, I don't know. It's like this whole community where people could connect the dots with stuff. But it's like something also that you learn that if you really have the talent for it and really are hungry to do something, you could definitely pull it off. You know what I mean? It's not something that's impossible. You know, if you have a vision and you could get some kind of funding, at least get a camera, and if you get some actors and learn the process of making film you could definitely do it but i always tell people it's not something that's impossible if you want to make a film definitely go for it give it a shot you never know absolutely thank you for watching the fan carpet please follow us on facebook twitter and instagram for more content next time it's been fading away I don't know what she wants from me because i'm not a paranormal expert i can't help her i didn't move here to become obsessed with a ghost I don't know what's happening to me. She was possessed. I'm not afraid of her. Honestly, I really don't know what I saw.
on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.